My name is Nayoka Myers. I'm the Literacy Director here at Mighty Writers Newark. Uh, Mighty Writers is a nonprofit organization that provides free programming for the youth that focuses on teaching them to think with clarity to also improve their reading and their writing skills. My name is Troy Henson. I'm the volunteer manager for New Jersey. I recruit volunteers, mentors, and interns to come and work with the kids here. I let them know that they are important, that their emotions are important, their happiness matters, their basic resources need to be met. So providing snack, you know, uh, nurturing after a tough day of school. Hopefully I can teach them some what I like to call cheat codes for life to make things easier for them as they grow into adults. Both Mayoka and Lucinda both lead in elementary and middle school. Um, they do, you know, they have their classroom stuff already. So um, the volunteers kind of just help with whatever they need, really. So it's mostly homework help. Um, outside of that, uh, they do the creative workshops too. For instance, they love trivia. So all of the trivia will have like, um, you know, questions about the writing process. Um, they reward them with prizes and then educational things um, with books and things like that. One thing that I love about Newark is that, that everything is just kind of family oriented. It seems like when they walk in, they're just happy to just, I've never seen someone so happy to learn. Other times we have more social emotional uh, workshops which are focused on impulse control. So we'll play games that'll make them want to give into their impulses, but the object of the game is to catch those impulses and to actually not give into those impulses. This is like a really um, close community, close knit community. Um, all of their um, events are always, they always call at the park. They're having things at the park and it's always, you know, anybody's welcome to come. Out there, you know, the community is not always as open and, and as welcoming. You know, Newark is, is under a lot of big reconstruction to build back that sense of safety and build back that sense of community. This is Great Oaks. Um, we've had a couple of students from this, from this school, but like even if you're looking at the school, you know, not much outside space to play in. Um, so you can imagine what difficulties that present even with education, you know, when they're not burning energy outside because they don't have much of the space to. So this is Lincoln Park's community garden. So everybody like feeds the garden, waters the garden. Over the summer, we brought the kids here at least once a week to do some watering of the garden, tending to the garden. Um, so this is like something that I think is amazing for the community and just shows how much like all the partners within the community are really trying to um, bring that sense of safety, bring that sense of security back to North, you know, bring, bring the beauty back. So. Um, right across there, that's North Symphony Hall. Um, they've been trying to revive it, holding different events there. Um, and that's where we have like our annual haunted house, where we actually turn a whole portion of Symphony Hall into a haunted house. The kids act in it, like they write up to it, they write scary stories leading up to it. Then they act in it, we have all types of props, all types of lights, um, makeup, all types of stuff. It's a really cool event for you. So, and again, everything free. Like that's the best part about it too, you know, all of this free. Yeah, so Link, this is this is our main connection. Um, yeah, this is where all our students are from. Um, we come into the school and we provide resources, as well as they provide us with a bunch of support, a bunch of resources. And those resources go further than even, you know, just us serving the kids, but even as far as like on a professional level, you know, we have a relationship with the teachers where we're discussing what the problems are, how we can support each other, um, what we can give for one another to make things easier for the children and also easier for ourselves, which I think is extremely important. So I love the relationship we have with this school and I love that we're able to have um, equal support going both ways. To our donors, I definitely want to say thank you uh, because keeping this place alive is making a change in these youth's lives and without you all, this cannot happen, this cannot be. 